Is the globe turning against Israel, or is this just another chapter in the history of a nation constantly at the center of international scrutiny? The world seems to be in a state of division, with perceptions of Israel varying widely. The recent events have only intensified this divide. The Gaza conflict for instance has been a hotbed of controversy. After six months of war the world watched in dismay as the region was engulfed in violence. The ripple effects of this conflict have been felt far beyond the borders of the Middle East, sparking debates and discussions in the corridors of power across the globe. The United Nations, a body formed to promote international peace and security, has not been silent. The organization has condemned Israel expressing deep concern over the escalating tensions. This condemnation however, is not a solitary voice. It's echoed by several world leaders who have openly criticized Israeli military operations. This growing global critique has led to tangible action. A number of countries have begun imposing embargoes, signaling a shift in their stance towards Israel. This isn't just about economic sanctions or diplomatic rebukes. It's about a change in the world's perception of this nation. We find ourselves in a world where Israel appears to be increasingly isolated. A world where alliances are shifting, opinions are changing, and the international consensus seems to be in flux. But is this a sign of the world turning against Israel? Or is it merely a reflection of the complex and ever-changing dynamics of international politics? As we delve into this complex issue remember history is rarely black and white. Each event, each decision, each conflict has layers of context that often go unseen. As we navigate through this narrative it's crucial to keep this in mind. For it's only by understanding the shades of gray that we can truly appreciate the intricacies of the world we live in. Could ancient prophecies be playing out in our modern world? Let's delve into the biblical perspective. The books of Ezekiel, Zechariah, and Revelation all contain prophecies that have been interpreted by some as suggesting the world will turn against Israel in the so-called last days. Beginning with the book of Ezekiel, we find a prophecy in chapters 38 and 39 that speaks of a great battle involving nations from the north, south, east, and west converging on Israel. In this view Israel stands alone seemingly abandoned by its allies. Turning to the book of Zechariah chapter 12 verse 3, we find a prophecy that asserts, On that day when all the nations of the earth are gathered against her I will make Jerusalem an immovable rock for all the nations. This passage has been interpreted by some as a prediction of global opposition to Israel. Last but not least we find in the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 16, a prophecy of a final battle referred to as Armageddon taking place in Israel. This is often interpreted as the culmination of the world's opposition to Israel. However, it's crucial to note that these interpretations are not universally accepted. Biblical scholars and theologians have long debated the meanings of these texts, and many would argue that they are allegorical or symbolic, rather than literal predictions of future events. These prophecies have been understood and re-understood in different ways over the centuries, reflecting the changing contexts and concerns of their readers. Furthermore, some argue that these prophecies have already been fulfilled in historical events, while others maintain that they refer to spiritual or heavenly realities rather than earthly geopolitics. While it's intriguing to ponder, it's crucial to remember that interpretations of ancient texts can vary widely. In the complex theater of global politics, opinions of Israel are certainly varied. The world is a stage and Israel, like any other country, plays its part. But lately, the part it's been given appears to be attracting more than its fair share of negative reviews. Consider the United States traditionally a staunch ally of Israel. In recent times the president himself has voiced concerns about Israeli military operations. This critique coming from such a high office, is a significant shift in the diplomatic landscape. It's like the lead actor in a play suddenly forgetting their lines leaving the audience in stunned silence. And it's not just the United States. Other countries too are taking a stance imposing embargoes on Israel. Trade, a vital lifeblood for any nation is being squeezed. It's as if the supporting actors have decided to deviate from the script, throwing the entire production into disarray. The United Nations, the world's grand stage for international diplomacy, has also added its voice to the chorus. It has condemned Israel, a move that echoes across the globe. It's like a thunderous applause that drowns out everything else, leaving the actor on stage feeling isolated and alone. These reactions however, are not the end of the play. They are merely acts in an ongoing production, they paint a picture of a nation increasingly isolated on the world stage yet they are not the whole story. The curtain hasn't fallen yet and as we all know the show must go on. 
Public opinion can sway like a pendulum, but recent trends regarding Israel are worth noting. As we delve into the heart of this matter we find Israel at the center of a global public relations crisis. This is not a simple case of a nation's image being tarnished, it is an intricate dance of politics, perceptions and power. Across the globe the pendulum of public opinion has begun to swing. Not so long ago, Israel was seen by many as a beacon of democracy in a region often fraught with instability. Today, that image is being challenged. From the cafes of Europe to the bustling streets of Asia, from the corridors of power in Washington to the vibrant cities of South America, the narrative surrounding Israel is shifting. The catalyst for this change? An array of factors, each contributing its own notes to this complex symphony. The ongoing conflict in Gaza, the criticism from world leaders, the United Nations condemnation, all these elements have coalesced, creating a storm of negative publicity. Yet it's not just the actions at the geopolitical level that are influencing this shift. The digital age has amplified the voices of individuals like never before. Social media platforms have become the modern-day public square, a place where opinions are shared, views are debated, and perceptions are formed. Through tweets, posts and shares, the narrative around Israel is being shaped, challenged and redefined often in real time. The impact of this cannot be overstated. Each hashtag, each viral post, each trending topic serves as a ripple in the ocean of public opinion. And these ripples, when they converge, can create waves capable of swaying the course of history. Yet as any historian will tell you, public opinion is as changeable as the wind. Today's trends may not necessarily dictate tomorrow's realities, but for now, they serve as a barometer of the global sentiment, a snapshot of the world's perception of Israel. In this era of instant communication and global connectivity, the weight of the world's gaze is a force to be reckoned with. In the face of global criticism, how has Israel responded? As nations and leaders around the globe have raised their voices in condemnation, Israel has not been silent. The Israeli government, in response to the criticism, has taken various actions to address the situation at hand. The measures taken have been diverse, ranging from diplomatic initiatives to military strategies, all aimed at safeguarding the country's security and sovereignty. The resilience of the Israeli people has been remarkable. Under the weight of global scrutiny, they have shown an unwavering determination to protect their homeland. Their response has been characterized by a strong sense of unity and a steadfast commitment to their nation's survival and prosperity. The Israeli government, for its part, has made concerted efforts to engage with the international community. They have opened channels of communication and sought to explain their perspective. The goal has not been to win a war of words but to foster understanding. They have made clear that their actions are driven by necessity, not choice, and that their first and foremost responsibility is to ensure the safety and security of their people. In the political arena, Israel has been proactive in countering the mounting pressure. The government has mobilized its diplomatic corps, reaching out to allies and partners around the world. They have sought to counter the narrative that has taken hold in some quarters, emphasizing the complexity of the situation and the challenges they face. Military strategies have also been revised and adjusted in response to the changing dynamics. While maintaining a strong defensive posture, Israel has also taken steps to minimize civilian casualties and collateral damage in recognition of the human cost of conflict. Despite the challenges, Israel remains steadfast, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. The people of Israel continue to stand strong, their resolve undiminished. They face the future with determination, confident in their ability to weather the storm. Their response to global criticism reflects their resilience, their unity, and their unwavering commitment to their nation's future. Predicting the future is a fool's errand but considering potential outcomes is a worthwhile exercise. As we peer into the looking glass of tomorrow, the image of Israel's future shimmers with uncertainty. Yet, current trends may offer us some clues. The global stage, fraught with contention, sees Israel increasingly isolated. This isolation, if it continues, could shape the nation's destiny in the years to come. Yet, let us remember that the future is not set in stone. It is a fluid, ever-changing tapestry woven from the threads of decisions made today. The course of Israel's journey on the international stage can be altered, redirected, even reversed. How, you ask? Through the power of diplomacy and understanding. Diplomacy, the art of navigating the waters of international relations, is a potent tool. It has the potential to bridge divides, mend relationships, and change perceptions. For Israel, 
Cultivating diplomatic ties could be the key to dispelling the shadows of isolation. It could pave the way for dialogue, compromise, and mutual understanding. Yet diplomacy alone is not enough, it must be coupled with understanding. Understanding that the world is a complex, multifaceted place, where every nation has its own unique narrative. Understanding that disagreement is not synonymous with enmity. Understanding that empathy, patience and respect are the cornerstones of peaceful coexistence. In these turbulent times, the path forward for Israel is fraught with challenges. Yet, as the nation navigates these uncertain waters, the beacon of diplomacy and understanding could guide it towards a more harmonious future. But let us not forget that the world will not be a passive observer in this unfolding narrative. Every nation, every leader, every individual holds a piece of the puzzle. How we choose to place our pieces will shape the image that emerges. The future remains uncertain, as it always does. Yet one thing is clear, the world will be watching. So is the world turning against Israel, or is this just another chapter in its tumultuous history? We've explored this question from multiple angles today, delving into the complexities of a divided worldview, the biblical perspective, and the current state of affairs on the international stage. We've also looked at how the situation is being perceived in the public eye, and the response from Israel itself. In every aspect, it's clear that the situation is multifaceted, with a myriad of varying perspectives. The trend towards Israel's isolation on the global stage is undeniable, yet the implications of this trend are not as clear-cut. Is it a fulfillment of biblical prophecy, or simply the result of current political and social dynamics? We've looked into the future considering the potential outcomes based on historical patterns, current trends, and prophetic insights. The picture that emerges is as complex as the situation itself, fraught with uncertainty and the promise of continued debate. Only time will reveal the next chapter in Israel's story. Until then, it's up to us to keep learning, discussing, and striving for understanding.